What's up guys? So there's this one high yield savings account out there that's doing a lot better, considerably better than its competition in the high yield savings account market. And this is a high yield savings account that pays not 1%, not 2%, it pays above 2.5%. And in this video, I'm going to be going over that savings account, my personal opinion, and talking about is it really better than its competition than some of these other high yield savings account so very quickly before we do talk about that and look at it and compare it to other savings accounts let's quickly talk about what is a high yield savings account and why you should be using one so a high yield savings account is a savings account that pays a high yield right it's kind of self-explanatory and a high yield in this case a lot of these savings accounts pay 1.5 percent two percent and a lot of them pay between 2.2 and 2.5 percent and the whole entire idea of these is to get away from the traditional savings account that offers literally 0.01%, 0.1%, 0 0.2% on your money per year, which is literally nothing, right? These are the traditional savings accounts. And now that there's a lot of these high yield accounts out there, in my opinion, there's no need for the traditional savings accounts. They shouldn't be used anymore. You can store all your cash, whether it's an emergency fund, you know, whether it's a car fund, whether it's a house house fund, an investment fund, a portfolio cash fund, you know, in these high yield savings accounts. So you're actually making money throughout the year and actually fighting inflation, which is on average 2% per year, right? So let's talk about these more in depth. And I'll talk about that one savings account right now that's doing very well compared to its competitors. And then we'll compare. So if you enjoy the video, hit that like button, subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And let's get into it, guys. So the high yield savings account that's doing a lot better than its competition in terms of its APY, in terms of the interest rate that it pays out to you is Wealthfront. And I know Wealthfront has kind of been the talk of the personal finance community, especially here on YouTube. I've been hearing a lot about it on Instagram. I've honestly been getting a lot of ads from Wealthfront as well. So I figured I've seen a lot of videos and I figured why not talk about it and cover it in my own version of a video. And that's the video you're watching right now. So Wealthfront guys, again, I feel like they're trying to get their name out there. I've been seeing a lot of ads and this yield that they're offering, you guys can see it right here. It's 2.57%, which is ridiculous, right? Me personally, I don't even use Wealthfront. I actually use Marcus by Goldman Sachs and they offer a 2.15% APY right now. And that's actually 0.42% lower. So that's actually considered considerably lower from what Wealthfront is offering right now. So if we go down a bit here, we can see some of, you know, the main specs of this Wealthfront account. So let me just move my camera very quickly so we can see this. So it's FDIC insured up to $1 million. $1 million FDIC insured. That is awesome, guys. Every bank that I look at before I even put my money in, I need to make sure it's FDIC insured because if that bank goes insolvent, that bank goes bankrupt, it, you know, it, it crumbles, it loses everything, and it's not FDIC insured, your money poofs like that, that $5,000, that $10,000, that $100,000 you put in, whatever it might be, that money vanishes, right? And there's no way you can get it back from insurance. So this is FDIC insured. That's amazing. And it's honestly up to $1 million, which is very good. A lot of the other ones are up to $250,000. So if you are are working with a lot more money, you know, if you want to save more than 250k, this could be the bank for you, right? So unlimited free transfers here, move money in and out of your account as many times as you want. So that's really, really good. Typically, a savings account is six times per month, six times, um, you know, moving money in and out. Others are three times. It really depends on you know what you're dealing with, but typically they're about six um, times per month. No market risk. Obviously, your cash is kept out of the market. So you never have to worry about short-term volatility and no fees, guys. No advisory fees, no management fees, no surprises. Earn more and keep more. Fast and easy setup, of course. And it's only a $1 minimum to open and there are no additional deposit requirements. So in my opinion, you know, the basic things here, FDIC insured, that's very, very good. Unlimited free transfers and no fees with a $1 minimum. That's pretty good starting out 
out, guys. And for my initial check and what I personally like to see in an online savings account, a high-yield savings account, Wealthfront does get that check. So although the 2.57% interest rate is very juicy, it's very attractive, it's very good initially, it does concern me a little bit in terms of its sustainability, right? I don't know how long Wealthfront is going to be able to keep up this 2.57% interest rate, right? And this is something that I've been thinking about, and a lot of people have been talking about this as well. You know, Wealthfront, out of nowhere, they increased their rate so high, right? And at least me to believe, you know, this could be a opportunity for them, a short-term opportunity to grab market share, grab new customers with this very juicy, you know, glamorous looking interest rate. And once they do grab those customers, they are running a lot of ads. Like I said, you know, part of this, why I'm seeing the ads is because I've been looking up, you know, Wealthfront on the internet. I've been looking it up on my phone. So I'm being, you know, targeted that way, but they're looking to grab a lot of new customers. That's the point of this, right? In my personal opinion, you know, if they do grab a lot of new customers, they could potentially lower this rate in the next couple of months when they do have that customer base, when they do add more people to their customer base with this very attractive, you know, interest rate at 2.57%. And think about it, guys. A couple of months ago, I'm not too sure if you were paying attention to online savings accounts then, but a couple of months ago, these high yield accounts, they were actually offering more in terms of their interest interest rate. Goldman Sachs right now is at 2.15%. I believe a couple of months ago when the Fed spiked that interest rate, they were at 2.25%. And right now, Ally Bank, I believe they offer like 2.25, 2.3%. We'll see here in a couple of minutes. But back then, they were offering considerably more, I believe, at like 2.4%, right? And over the past couple of months, now that we're getting pressures of a potential interest rate cut, you know, a lot of these savings accounts have been dropping their, you know, APY by just a couple of basis points, right? Some 10 basis points, some 20, some 15. It really just depends on, you know, the couple different accounts, right? But one thing that concerns me here is Wealthfront, you know, they could be seeing pressures to cut their rate here, especially if we do get that 25 point basis cut, uh, 25 basis point cut, rate cut here in a couple of weeks, towards the end of July in 2019. So that, in my opinion, is not too bad of a thing. You know, it's not too negative on Wealthfront for potentially cutting the rate. You know, worst comes to worst, you make 2.57% right now, and then it goes to like 2.2, 2.1, maybe 2% at the absolute worst. And at that point, you can just transfer your money back to an ally, to a Marcus, whatever you guys want to. But in my opinion, it's something to keep an eye on for, and maybe they cut the rate maybe they don't we just have to see what ends up happening here over the next couple of months so very quickly let's take a look at two other savings accounts that I really really like and that I already mentioned in this video so the first one again that I personally use is Marcus by Goldman Sachs and you guys can see it's a 2.15 percent APY right here no fees and no minimum deposit you can link other bank accounts for incoming and outgoing transfers there's a US based contact center open seven days a week and trust me guys I've used this myself I've called them they've helped me very very good and of course it is FDIC insured which is the number one most important thing that I'm looking for and without that I I'm not putting my money into the savings account. So this is one of them, Marcus. And the next one is Ally, which I did say was a 2.2%. It's actually a 2.1%, guys. So they've actually really decreased their APY here over the past couple of weeks, over the past couple of months. And just like Marcus, it's FDIC insured, which is very important. Six transaction cycles, and that's the same thing for um, uh, Marcus, right? Six um, per month in terms of that. No monthly maintenance fees or minimum balance requirements 24 7 um, support here and if you go down here and take a look at this calculator let's say you have twenty five thousand dollars if you're using ally bank at one point or two point one percent your estimated earnings are going to be five hundred and twenty five dollars guys by having your money just sit there that's awesome right that's a really good return for twenty five thousand dollars for simply a savings account and take a look at 
at some of these other ones here. Citibank for a 0.08%. That's a $20. Um, you know, you're you getting $20 in one year off that $25,000. So would you rather have $525 or $20 for having your money sit and in terms of one year? That is not even a question, right, guys? You see Chase... PNC, right? Wells Fargo, $2.50. That's just pitiful, right? So these online savings accounts, these high yield savings accounts, they are so worth it in 2019, guys. It's crazy. And if you're not using them, if you're not putting your money, whether it be for investments, car fund, your taxes, you know, a house, whatever it may be, if you're not putting your money into a high yield savings account right now, you're really missing out on a lot. You're missing out on fighting inflation and you're missing out on making some money on top of your money as as opposed to not making money and on it at all in a traditional savings account so that's pretty much it for this video guys if you did enjoy it feel free to go down below and hit that like button drop a comment let me know what you think about wealth front and high yield savings accounts in general i would love to know what you guys have to think and if you want to see further content for me i'm uploading videos on the stock market investing trading personal finance business if you want to see more of this, consider subscribing to the channel and hit that notification bell so you're notified every single time that I do make a video. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate you taking your time out of your day to watch this video. It means a lot. I'll catch you all in the next video. Take care. Have a good day. Peace out.